They say God got lonely and created us folk. Did God do it in wisdom or as a sick joke? Where the image of him or the image of her, we're not wearing antlers, we're not born with fur, but did God really know when he gave us all birth what havoc we wreak upon this good earth? They say we're superior, the most highly evolved, but in all these millennia, we still haven't solved how to live in this world harmoniously. So we pollute the atmosphere, rivers, and sea. Take this summer, for instance, so mind-blowingly hot, was not about what you could do, but could not. Because of insecticides, couldn't eat peaches, and with bloodied syringes, couldn't swim in the beaches. To breathe was quite dangerous. Not breathing was worse. Till it seemed as though merely surviving was a curse. And when the rain falls from Nome to Lake Placid, it isn't raining rain, you know. It's raining lethal acid. But I am speaking on behalf of some trees. I think before trees we get down on our knees and say, thank you, O oh trees, for making air pure. For without you, dear, dear trees, we just might not endure. But how do we treat you? We slash and we burn you, uproot and bulldoze and generally spurn you. Well, I've had enough. And I think God has, too. So as from this moment, here's what we all do. We come to our senses and begin to take care. Or we'll wake up one morning and find we're not there. So let's start cosseting the ozone and doing all we can to make God not ashamed he thought up man.